All right, boys and girls, we are live. We are live. Yo. Got us a nice little video to talk about today. Everything's going to be good to go. Life's going to be great. Because uh, we happen to be playing this um, this game called uh, The Crow. And uh, if you haven't realized yet, The Crow is the most awesome game in the world. And to join me today on this uh, illustrious journey, we have a great number of... Uh, Saturn Knights, I should call them. We have myself, the Southern Saga Gentleman. We also have our beloved Virtuous Schlub coming hell and from you from the West Coast. We also have uh, Patrick from the Saturn Shiro Podcast. As well, we have, we have us the Sleeper. The Sleeper, I should say. Because we have Saturn Memories in the house. Go ahead and give him a hand. Give him a hand. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. That's right, that's right, baby. All right, boys and girls. So uh, before we get this thing kicked off, starting in a new fashion, we're going to go ahead and uh, do us a nice little intro. So uh, enjoy. All right. You guys in the uh, chat yet? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm in the I know we're playing over the intro. It's all good. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're new to the Saturn Junkyard, if you haven't ever uh, called us before, you can find us over at the links in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. Saturn Junkyard on Twitter, at Saturn Junkyard. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Saturn Junkyard. So, Neo SNK, yo. Oh, what? That's what I'm talking about. All right. That's so, actually me. Oh, well, okay. Well, hey. <laughs> how you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm doing good. Just uh, um, that's my my new Geo persona. So when I don't Saturn it up, I Geo it up. So I'm all about that KOF. Uh huh. All about that Metal Slug. What do you play on Neo Geo? I play it. Love it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Besides all the pleasantries, et cetera, et cetera, does anyone want to uh, go ahead and give us an introduction to this dumpster fire that we're about to play? No takers. Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh. We're today. We're going to be playing the possibly the best. No. Never mind. Forget that. The best game on the Saturn of all time. And whoever argues is about it's not being that is incorrect. Oh my and that is God. the Crow City of Angels, <coughs> which yes. is based off the famous uh, the famous movie by Bruce Lee's son, which I don't know his name, but uh, basically his last movie. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, um, yeah, uh, it was the movie that he actually died on set of a gunshot wound by mistake. Kill me, man! Absolutely kill. Right, okay, so we're not actually playing the game based off of the uh, the first game. We are playing the game. That didn't even make sense. Excuse me. We're playing the game that's based on the second movie, which uh, is absolute trash, by the way, in my personal opinion. I love the first movie. Wait, um, there's a there's a second movie. Yes, there's is actually there's a second crow. Yes, there, there's the Crow City of Angels, which is the the name of this game. There, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> was uh was Bruce Lee? There was Bruce Lee's son in that one. No, no, no. no I could have sworn you would have like archival footage or something, right? Uh, uh, possibly. I'm not entirely certain, but to give you a little backstory about this game, back in uh, 1998, I believe, in my little podunk town here in Louisiana, I rode my bike all the way down to the local Movies Galore, which was a mom and pop's little rental shop, picked up the game, rode my bike back to the house, went ahead and slapped it in the Saturn, loaded it up, and 45 minutes later, I was on my way back to the store to return the game, because they had a policy to where if you absolutely hated the game, you could rent another one. And you best believe, after 45 minutes, I was done with this game. So that should tell you a little bit about what's going down. Just to give you a little bit of insight about how this game works, you have your basic fighting mechanics in regards to picking up items, kicking, punching, running, etc., etc. But they throw a little twist in the mix. You see, what they do is they try to uh, make it... Um, they try to give you some tank controls, like they're trying to be a, a form of um, Resident Evil or something like that. And apparently we have an issue with the stream real fast. Hold up. Huh. Man, I didn't know my intro was that good that it broke the stream. That's Format awesome. not support. Uh, hold on. One second. We're going to do something real quick. 
Wah, wah. No, that, that should tell you how bad this game is, man. That should tell you how bad this game is. We are rebooting the Saturn. That's how bad the game is. It doesn't want you playing it. No, I mean, seriously, dude. This game is trash. Absolute trash. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Vampire Mike. Oh, God. We've got Sega CD Universe in the house, man. Welcome to the party, baby. Wow. It's all about that. These different Sega stuff. Got the Saturn Shiro, the Saturn Junkyard, the Sega CD Universe. What do we got? Uh, we got the the Genesis Genesis Omniverse. Just waiting on Nomad Junkyard, Dreamcast Junkyard at this point. <laughs> it's gonna be a. There's gonna be so many Saturn Junkyards or Sega Junkyards. If if you're it's just crazy. if you're just joining the stream, um, the game crashed my capture card the moment we did it, and I think it's about to try to do it again. <laughs> nope, we made it. We made it. We're starting the game finally because the first go around, my, it was like not supported whatsoever. Um, when are we starting up the Sega Cinematic Universe? Dude, we need Ooh, to. I like it. I like it. Hey, the Sega. No, no, no. Sega CD can get that. We can get Sega CD FMV Universe. We can go ahead and have that full motion video, beautiful picture perfect action going down. Ooh. Night Trap. <laughs> no, we ain't going to have no Night Trap, man. We got. Uh, <laughs> we got we, Super Shark. We got a couple. No, we're not doing Super Shark. <laughs> we're not doing this, man. That's just, even better. Just Mad stop. Just okay. Stop. What about what about Time Gal? Oh my God, I'm done. Wirehead. Done. <laughs> oh come on, Time Gal was oh good. That one God. and uh, oh, what was the other one with the cars? That's like the anime thing. Oh yeah, Road yeah. Blaster. Yes. Road, oh yeah, yeah. Nah, Road Blaster is the good stuff. Dude, get some QTE action for the win, man. Just play some. What was it, Dragon's Lair? Oh yeah, Space Ace. Yes. <laughs> one of them that I really wish they brought is the the Lupin the Third one cliffhanger. That one was really good. I've never I've never actually played that one. It's a it's arcade only. It's a another laser disc game. It's uh it basically uses the Hayao Miyazaki directed uh, Lupin the Third movie. I can't remember what the name of the it, it is. It uses the it uses Castle a combination of Castle Cagliostro and Mystery of Mamo the first and second Lupin movies. <coughs> oh wow, I didn't know it used the the one. I didn't know it, it used yeah, another it, one. Yeah, it combined the footage of the two, made them into a game, and Stern Pinball released them. Wow, that's is it gonna do that's it? amazing. Here we go. The game actually loaded up entirely. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh all my by God. itself dude it's amazing road avenger sega cds like yeah, all the time, road avenger. yeah if you I see the, have... if you see the no signal come across the screen it's not because we aren't having a stream going down it's because of the fact that the frame monster communicating to my elgato capture card it just it doesn't do what it likes to do sometimes in fact sometimes it just likes to crap out but technical difficulties aside we are playing this game Beautifully upscaled from its trashy garbage fire wannabe self of 240p into beautiful 280p, 1080p, which is then being decompressed into 720p or whatever, thanks to uh, the magic of uh, YouTube. <laughs> Do we feel that helps? I, I don't know, but um, I'm trying to pick this object up and it's like, no. Automatically, we're having problems. Pick it up. Thank you. There we go. That running animation is beautiful. Yeah, you're a few, quite a few seconds ahead of all of us. So. Yeah, oh, we're staring at a loading screen. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. I'm sorry, man. It's not my fault. I tried to control the. Uh, I tried to actually control what was going down with a dude. Hit the guy. I have not hit this guy one time. There we go. No, I tried to control the stream latency, and it just it doesn't want to communicate real. So, blame Facebook, blame YouTube, blame Google. Somebody beside me. Are you streaming this? All, are you multi-streaming this, or is this just on YouTube? Not today, we aren't. Not today, we aren't. Maybe oh, yeah, in the future. Wow, <laughs> I'm watching the action. This is really bad. October 28th is a very special day because it's when the Sega Saturn gentleman entered the world. So my birthday, and I'm kind of ashamed to say, is uh, the game starting point. So, oh, really? Oh, it's it's so one in 365 chance of that. I know, right? Really Actually, good maybe it's like modified with uh, the leap year. I don't know how that works. 
Okay. All right. You, you aren't see you the, glad that your birth is associated with this game, Sam? Yeah, I'm telling you. You see the little crow icon up on the ground? That um, That is referencing where I'm supposed to go. It's probably the best thing in the world this game has going for it, to be honest with you. Dude, I just threw my stick. I just threw my stick of truth. This is not cool. Now we're going to have to punch it out. This game reminds me of a really bad Resident Evil Re Resident Evil game mixed with a WWF game. Dude, that's exactly <laughs> what it's like, man. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played Attitude on, like, the N64, but it reminds me just like that. Clunky controls, but man, is that game fun. Dude, oh, this one... Leo uh, also alluded that uh, October 28th is a holiday in Greece. I believe it is. I be he would know better than me. I mean, he is in Greece and all, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out which one. And I thought I was stuck on the wall for a second. No, the camera angles. Whenever the camera angles change, like they are here in about two seconds. Uh, yeah. Actually, come to think of it, that's the year that I always... That the Greek festival I go to always has their stuff is usually... Maybe it is the 28th. I don't know what they do, though. There's a Greek festival? A Greek festival? Oh, there's like every every Greek Orthodox church in our area has a Greek festival oh, uh, around that time. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Like you go and there's they like pretty much cover the whole parking lot full of they like put a giant tent and then in the tent you got like a stage for the dancers and you got tons of food booths and ouzo and whatever you want. It's pretty cool. Dude, they got euros. Give me oh, euros. Man, I was tons about to of say euros. that. You gotta yeah, they save got, me a couple. I love I Jiro's my weakness. And their bakery, Gyros. like the their bakeries are awesome. <laughs> that's your Sam, that reminds me of that skit from uh uh AVGN, the Rob episode. Oh yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's like I made you a fucking gyro or a uh, gyro, made me go fly to Greece. <laughs> Dude, I actually pulled off a, a back kick, man. That was amazing. Somebody's still throwing <laughs> stuff at me. Oh Local I got new enemies. Mm -hmm. The local Orthodox Church here does the same thing in May, and they do a really good lamb dinner too. Oh, man. nice! Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like, very hungry now. Thanks. It's falling yeah. off the bone, man. Right. Good. So good. Yeah, it's so. Oh man. Hey guys, I think we have a, a new guest. There Look seems to be another guy in the lobby. A around. murder of crows, fantastic! You know how to get Casey. in the stream, okay? You know how to get. You know how to get into the Discord channel. Come on, come talk to us, baby. But we have another one on the Discord channel right now. Who we got? Yo, what's up? Hey, it's my Dave. Hey, man. We're gonna How's have, going? dude. We're gonna have the whole, the whole Saturn podcast and YouTube community in here in a second. It's like backstage at a Sublime concert. What y'all didn't know is that this wasn't just a live stream. This was a mutual collaboration of sorts. We're destroying this game in every facet. So we got Brian here, Patrick, Sam, uh, Saturn Memories. Hey, <laughs> this is what, what's your name? What's your name, buddy? I'm sorry, I haven't. I, we haven't met. <laughs> it, it's I'm Chris. Late to the party. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I'm Dave. Nice to meet you, Dave. I think we should just love do the intro stuff. all over again. I love how. Well, yeah. Now that we've yeah, doubled no. the number of people that are on the stream, we just got. So we got Pat, Pat Dave, we... Sam, and Brian. Got am, I doing okay on, am I doing yeah. okay on names so far? Yeah. Yeah. James, you're doing no, great on names. Actually, my name's Jonathan, not Patrick. Shut up. One, yes, one, no. one, one Dude, this game's mechanics are horrible. Like, seriously. It's kind of, it's kind of funny watching the... Um, the stream and then you're bat mashing the buttons and it like during the quiet <laughs> moments all we're watching or there's nothing on the screen it's kind of funny for you for everybody else it's normal like why Stop. um yeah i can't help it man like the the if, if any of y'all know the saturn controller is extremely loud whenever you start tapping on it hard oh yeah no definitely are you using the uh the u.s version or the japanese one um i'm stuck hold up hold up Hold up. Hold up. Ah, we did it. We got off the invisible wall. I'm in another invisible wall. <laughs> oh my god. We still see the invisible wall. This hey, game Sam. sucks. Hey Sam, do you have uh do you have like a a dynamic mic or a uh, condenser mic? Uh, I've got I've got a condenser mic. Okay, that's why. It's uh, the one that you can pick up just the voice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying like that's great for podcasts like as long as you're quiet in the room. But if you're doing like a thing like this, like gameplay, 
um, if you pick up like a vocal mic, like a SM58, um, those things are really good for, you know, just picking up your voice. I'm is actually phantom powered. I'm actually no, looking no, into dynamic is not phantom powered. I think they're about 99 bucks for like, and, and that's good for like, it's like a roadie mic. You can use it for if you're in a band or something like that, you know, that for oh, sure cool. SM58. I'm actually looking into um, and going to a lapel mic whenever I start doing um, video on the stream because uh, we're about to upgrade stream wise and actually y'all can see my pretty face the whole time. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got a um, lapel mic as well. I haven't tried it out yet, but I might do it for the next video I make. Oh, yeah. I def this, yeah, this Sherlock one looks pretty good. Is that an XLR interface though, or is that actually USB? Oh, a, a, an SM58 is XLR. XLR, it's, complete, okay. it's just a dynamic cardioid mic, and um, it's only going to pick up your voice like about a foot away thanks from the for, mic. Thanks uh, for thanks for joining us, Sega CD Universe. It's, uh, thanks for stopping by. Yep. Yes, thanks, sir. Man. We love you. Bye, Mike. Yeah, I definitely yeah, but you need you need like an audio interface for that, right? The one of those devices. I suppose you would. You'd need some way to get XLR into your I gotcha. But, but you, you don't have that anymore. Yeah, yeah. I would I recommend having an audio interface over going direct with USB because you know the you're just gonna be able to use it with more sources, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. I am gonna do a search on a... Do some offer up searches for that and get one and probably pick up a dynamic mic. Mm -hmm. See if that may be, be able to help me with what, what I do. Sure. I mean, the technology has gone leaps and bounds okay. to the point where there should be older, like USB 2 or USB 3 ones that are super cheap. Um, they're just, they can be had pretty cheap. Just a regular audio interface. Yeah, I'm seeing one for $25. Seriously. That's. There's that's really like cheap. pretty much all you need. You need like a couple of quarter inch inputs if you want to do like guitar or something else and then a couple of XLRs and you're set. You could record music, you could record, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to get get one of these and get like a dynamic mic and see how that works. Because I mean, I, I mean, as you know, I do a lot of these. We do some streams sometimes and mostly podcasting mm -hmm. and it likes to pick up the, the computer fan a lot. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty low on health here already, so. So these are like, these are like pre-rendered backgrounds? Yes, 2D backgrounds very much in the same vein as uh, Resident Evil um, with it's 3D. It's just sad because they're, they're ugly pre-rendered. They are, dude. <laughs> they are. I, I kind of like that aesthetic, though, just, or at least the idea of it. I mean, it kind of reminds me of like a, not Deus Ex. What's the game that's like the Vampire of the Masquerade? Like that kind of just. Mm -hmm. uh, I almost feel like they had to uglify the atmosphere. backgrounds so that yeah. the, the foreground character doesn't look off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. This, get, this game is quite horrible, by the way, y'all. Um, I cannot stress enough how um, difficult the combat is. It's basically like um, trying to make love in a vat of molasses straight from Canada while being drowned by a sumo wrestler. Okay. I like how specific that is. That's a thing. I'm just it's saying. The same. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, sumo wrestling's on tonight. Wait, they have sumo wrestling on TV? Yeah, there's a there's the Asian channel. At least here, I'm I'm pretty sure that's nationwide. But yeah, they like uh, have um, sumo wrestling every Sunday. I think. Do they have? Is that like a direct TV thing? Was that? No, it's like basic cable thing. Oh wow! I, I don't got no. Yeah, like I get it for, over my antenna, like my digital antenna. I get it on. Oh that. wow! Jesus! Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, it's like right after you know you got your PBS and your local whatever affiliates uh, for that kind of stuff, and then it's like after probably it's probably mixed amongst the um, the shopping channels. You're on the West Coast, right? In Seattle, you said. Yeah, I'm in Seattle. Yeah, I mean that's Seattle. that's probably why you have an Asian mm -hmm. channel over the air. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because yeah. we don't have anything like that out here on the East Coast. Yeah, probably. I mean, we have a huge. You have a huge Japanese population. Think we're about yeah. to die. Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo owns yeah, we have the, the uh, baseball team, right? Nintendo. No, they actually sold that like they a sold long ago. most of it. Yeah. Did they? Oh, okay. Uh huh. I've been yeah. out. Of it. it was mostly owned by don't. the. the <laughs> 
from your CEO. Uh, I think it was Nintendo. I wasn't sure if the yeah. old CEO owned anything of it. Oh. Um, we died anyway. for the first time, gentlemen. Sam, do you notice like on old 2D brawlers, um, some of the some of the poorer ones that um, if you're not like on the exact same level as the enemy, your your punches will miss or something like that. Like you have to be on the exact oh, yeah. same plane as them. It, it, yes. I'm noticing with this one, like take it to like a 3D perspective, but it's basically like if you're not like in, exactly in front of the character, it 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 is don't connect. It's very exactly the right axis. It's yeah. very, very. Po- it's like the hitbox is just so narrow, dude. It is, and the problem is, is that you cannot like the level of control you have over the character. Whenever I say I'm having to work this pad, it is mm-hmm. ridiculous in how I'm having to work this pad. Like, mm-hmm. um, I mean, it's just stupid. I mean, this it's beyond sluggish. It's beyond sluggish. It really is. It wasn't any better on the PlayStation, from what I understand, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I mean, it was the exact same port, from my understanding, across all platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to try once more to get through this first level, and if we cannot get through this first level by traditional means, then we're going to drop some cheat codes on this game, just so we can oh, try yeah. to have a little bit fun. Uh oh, Sam confirmed for cheater. Hey, man. Action replay or like legit codes? <laughs> like legit codes, because otherwise I'm going to have to uh, dig my action replay out and uh, plug it into the cart, which means I'm going to have to restart the system again. Did they even create codes for their testers to use for this game? I'm not sure they even did a testing phase, did they? If the, Probably not. I, I mean, they might have done basic things, making sure it boots and you can move your character, but... Yeah. QA is expensive, come on! <laughs> that's why you, That's why you got to have your programmers do the QA. Once they finish the code, do the testing. It works. Right, but I, I want to explain something. Like the controls of this game are so ridiculous. Because I mean, you got you you got your tank controls going on with the D pad. Okay, your run is is the um it's the X button. Y is I don't even know at this point. Um, X is apparently some form of dodge mechanic, which basically puts you into a a, a ground stance of some sorts. I don't know what to call it. And A is how you pick up your items, but you also throw your items with A. B does your punches, you're limited. I don't even know how you're supposed to pull different punches off. And then you got, you know, your roundhouse kick, which your C. So, I mean, it, it, you'd think it'd be a good control scheme, but it just, whenever you're actually playing with it, it just, it doesn't work, man. Yeah. Too bad that sign didn't say Pine Pot. Oh, God. <laughs> Too bad we weren't playing that game. <laughs> it looks like your buddy Leonidas is in the chat. Yeah, Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Leo, what's the uh, what's the holiday on the twenty eighth of October in Greece? But now we wait for Leo's response. It's gonna take thirty seconds to get to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's a, it's a moment of slow 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 connection of all time. Oh bull crap, man! Like that right there, dude. I'm nowhere even near f- facing forward, and I'm still just beating the hell out of him. Did he drop an ear? I don't know what that is they're dropping. (laughs) No, if you press down on the D-pad and kick, it does do a reverse kick whenever that'd be useful. I don't know. I guess whenever you're surrounded by enemies, but... I'll be be right back. Hold on. This, this is just, it's not, I don't, I don't understand, like, y'all talking about Q&A, I don't understand how Acti- well, it's Activision, but I don't understand how this game even made it to market, really. I mean, this Probably is just... Probably the same way a lot of games do. Oh, crap, we gotta release this. Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, we have a time well, on movie, yeah, budget. Yeah, the movie's coming out. It's that, a movie that, license, so that's, yeah, that, that, yeah that, that, that's, that's exactly that, it right there. That's literally gotta be the only thing going for this right here. I mean, the second movie really wasn't all that good anyway. I mean, I've watched it, and I can appreciate it to a degree, but I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the first movie. Brandon Lee was the name, by the way. I just remembered it. Oh, right, right. Hey, Chase. Oh, it's not an ear. It's a mask. Oh, okay. Yeah, when the camera got up close there, you could see it. What the hell is it supposed to do, though? I don't know. I've only ever tried to play this game once, and I barely remember it. No, no, no. This what's really bad is whenever it, it does the the scene cuts. You've got these invisible walls you got to run through, and then there's just like this blank spot. Like right now, I, I'm stuck. I can't. I can't even move. 
It just it it's just ridiculous how bad this game is. Like it's not enjoyable to play at all. Uh, a lot of movie licensed games from this era were really bad. It's anybody remember it's Superman sixty four era. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess the Disney games are one of the few exceptions. Yeah, the Genesis Disney games were pretty solid. Yeah. The the one thing that's kind of blowing my mind is that whenever you have the enemies, um, hold up, yeah, whenever you got the enemies in front of you, they all their life bars are on the right hand side, and there's multiple like different life bars. There's like three or four life bars up in there. Like right now, I'm on my um, I'm on my third life bar still. If you look up in the, the left hand corner, you can see it. But like the moment it goes away, then it, it refills like it. it the life bar doesn't even work right. I mean, it, I guess it works how it's supposed to. Wait, was the City of Angels, was that the one with that, uh... What the fuck band did the soundtrack to that? No, it's not the Goo Goo Dolls. I was oh, just Goo -Goo talking Dolls. about that. Yeah, I, I was, was gonna... just talking about that last what night. Heck? Wait, the Google Dolls did that? They did a soundtrack for the movie, The City of Angels. Yeah, it's a totally different, different it's not movie. Pro. Oh, I was gonna say, that would be ridiculous. They have no. No, They sound nothing alike. Yeah, no, Kay called me on that last night. He was like, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, I well, like, couldn't remember because I remember they had like had game or, uh, movie footage in the music video, but I was like, yeah, that's not The Crow, though, but it's City of Angels, right? Yeah, you and me both. Uh, uh, I, I made that same as... Hey, so interesting fact, and you guys may be aware of this, but the developer for this game, Grey Matter, they did a few other games. Um, they did NHL All-Star Hockey... For both Ugh. the Game Gear and the Saturn, so that launch. Which which ones did they do? So they did NHL like All Star. Games. Well, they did just the just the first one, NHL oh, All Star okay. Hockey. Okay, Never the mind. original that one wasn't Saturn. as good. The it one with the nice. shitty camera angles. Yes, but yeah. then again, it was the first. It was the first hockey game on the Saturn, so it was kind of like, yeah, you know, nobody they didn't have anything to look at, you know, as far as like moving into that 3D realm. They did yeah. the one for. Um, they also did NBA Action, the first NBA Action for the Saturn. Oh, and interesting. They did this game. <laughs> Dude, so stop throwing bottles at me, shit. But they did Wayne's World on the Mega Drive. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Party on. Interesting. Sterling Excellent. track record. Dude, look at yeah, this. I know, right? Beautiful, beautiful woman. Good game. Good what game. a pedigree. What a what a thoroughbred pedigree. Um, Let's so see. what year did they go defunct? Because they obviously went defunct. Well, let's see. It looks like they. It looks like they actually. The last game that they did was this game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this was the death knell. This so was the death knell. Mystery has been solved. Invisible walls for the win once again. And nobody is surprised. Mm -mm. And I can't even leave the area until I kill all these people. That's beautiful. Yeah, so... Oh, whoops, I missed Leonidas, or, uh, Leonidas' co comment from earlier. He said that it was a victory against uh, Mussolini and the Nazis in World War II. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the reason why this game... Another reason why this is so difficult, and much like Resident Evil, is that, you know, when oh, you move to it. the edge of... There! When you move to the edge of the screen, it changes the pre-rendered background, or changes the viewpoint. And it's like... You could be right in the middle of, you know, walking in a certain direction, and then it changes the viewpoint, and there's a enemy, enemy right next to you. So that's tough. Oh yeah, Chase had mentioned the uh, Spider-Man Two movie uh, a little earlier. That, that that actually is a pretty good uh, game or movie. The game. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, I really like that game. That, it's like probably, probably one of my favorites even today. Just the way, just the way it felt with the. Um, Open world and well, how open ish world. If I flip the pizzas, Mr. Aziz will flip. I even liked the first one. I know it wasn't as yeah, open I, yet. No, I did too. I did too. Uh, with the green goblin at the hey, end. Hey, like, I, I figured it out. I figured it out. All you gotta do is just roundhouse kick until they're gone. That's literally all you have to do. <laughs> nice. Like, I'm just gonna. Nice. You're like, if you can do it. That's what yeah. I'm doing right now. Like you, you're, You'll hit the hitbox so long as you're roundhouse kicking because there's no way not to hit the hitbox. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, the combat in that game, those games were tips was and good. tricks. But I just love the um, sense of you know, as you're swinging through the city. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think one of my favorite things about the the first Spider-Man game, the, the movie yeah. one, is that you can actually play as the Green Goblin. 
Once you. Oh, that's it. right. That's right. I don't think I ever did it. that though. No, yeah, I, I didn't. I don't think I completed it. Yeah, I, I played the hell out of that game. The, the cool, and I think that was really cool because it's like voiced by, I think Tony McGuire and um, James Franco do the voices. Oh, cool. Which I think is pretty interesting. Now you see them all these. Well, at least James Franco. Yeah, James movies. Franco. I think is still busy. Yeah. Does uh, Does anybody want to do a quick Google search to find out how to attain more life in this game? Uh, immortal. No, 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 not not immortal life. Like to actually, you know, legitimately pick up health. Oh, yeah. Because um, I remember seeing that in like a YouTube video. Or something like that. I don't remember what they had to do. Because, I mean, generally beat em ups have some kind of item on the ground, like, you know, normally like an item of uh, food no, or something I think, like that. I think, I think the answer is yes, what you just said. It's just incredibly scarce. Just like weapon. Just like um, there are projectile weapons in this game as well, but they're incredibly scarce as well. So. All right, I just beat uh, Panzer Dragoon. I'm glad cool. to know that you're playing a good game while I sit here playing this crap game. <laughs> that you're the one who put it on the pole for me to play. To be honest, I'd rather be playing the crow than what I'm doing right now. What are you doing? Uh, I am writing a parser for a class that takes this permissionless and the RBOC, uh security protocol and having to do an implementation in the console. Nah, you That's don't need all that school stuff, man. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds like fun. It's not. No, I'm I know. Dying on <laughs> You're doing a bunch of back end stuff? Like for... uh, it's it's like C. Oh it's okay. not, there's no back end, there's just end. End. I wish it was like something like PHP. Oh god. Good old C. Speaking of, this game was probably ported in C, which is why it looks like crap. It does not look optimized at all for the sound. Yeah. Usually, uh, usually I'm lenient on crappy games on these older systems because they're in assembly and assembly is awful to write in. But well, yeah, but it results in it gives better results for the Saturn. I mean, C is incredibly bloated and inefficient when it comes to the Saturn. Like you weren't able to get any kind of game optimized. You'd end up with. I mean, mo most of the good most of the good games were either programmed in assembly. Or they used like the Saturn graphics library, which helped, can, you know, helped as kind of like a higher level. No, 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 about to die again. Translated to assembly. Yeah, I don't know. I just think I just think maybe they went with C because it's a lot easier and not insane. Well, that's exactly they what they did because they're third parties and they, you know, weren't weren't willing to invest any kind of time to learn the hardware. Because time is. The English documentation they had to work with was crap anyway. I mean, it was. It was. Like and a it, lot of it's wrong. Like fl like flat out wrong. They had to like re they had to get put out like revisions. Quite a few revisions, you know, of their own documentation because they made so many mistakes. Yeah. So apparently we're going to make it just far enough to um get to the next screen and then we're going to die again. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the C thing is the C thing basically just uses interpreter. I mean, as long as the code in C is written efficiently, I mean, it shouldn't have any issues. But it's just, um, but the thing is, being an object-oriented language, it's just, well, C is an object-oriented C plus plus is. Okay, yeah, no, we're talking. Okay, I meant to say C plus plus. That's what I'm not talking about C. Sorry. In, in in terms of Saturn, I'm talking about C++. This is what they probably used to port this. It was oh just heavy. God. Like, here, here's your tips and tricks for this game, boys and girls. Roundhouse kick everything until it dies. Yeah. There you go. I like it. Like, no, seriously, that is all I'm doing is roundhouse. Because, like, I mean, whenever you're throwing punches or, or swinging your bat or whatever the hell item you have up in your hand, it, it, it does absolutely nothing. Um, I mean, it's absolute trash. And if you at least roundhouse kick, you ain't got to worry about hitboxes. So That reminds and, me of my little brother when we used to play Mortal Kombat. He would just sit in the corner and sweep. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> me. You know? And I just, it, would, it would annoy the hell out of me. I mean, I hate that it's such a cheap way of doing things, but I mean, it's, it's, it's at least Whatever getting works. me to the next screen. Yeah. Hey, Chris. I'm just curious, how, how long have you been doing your YouTube stuff now? Uh, four and a half years. Once oh, wow. it gets to, I think, August, it'll be five. 
Cool. Congrats. Yeah. It's July or August, I forget which. Nope, we're gonna die again. We're gonna die again. Oh no, we barely made it through by the skin of our yeah, that that, that that backs to the skin of our teeth thing that me and you were talking about last time, Chris. Mm-hmm. Does anybody know where that saying even came from? The skin of your teeth? Uh, I think it's a Megadeth song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And Great opening. I, th I think that's the one that opens, uh, opens Symphony to uh, Sorry, Countdown to Extinction. You know, the graphics in this game are even darker than the graphics in... Uh, so, so it's actually a biblical reference. It's from Book of Job. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess know. so. I mean, that's what that's. I mean, that's uh, Google. The Reverend is going to enlighten us. Go oh ahead. shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm about to <laughs> I, die. I just have to find it because it's in a listicle, so I have to like scroll to where it is. I just thought it was like, kind of like there is no skin on your teeth, so it's kind of like a metaphor. Like, like just no, it has to do with like the the trials. The okay, hold on. Okay, after ooh. I'll just read you the whole entry if uh, if we have time for that. Saturn Titan Cast Saturn Junkyard slash Bible School Let's Play has yeah. begun. <laughs> like what the hell's going on right here? This is what happens when you let stream. All right, so this is from <laughs> Oxford Dictionaries. Get it, get it. <laughs> All oh, there's right. a gun. There's a gun on the ground. All right, I'm just gonna skip to the good part. Oh shit, I'm... dude, Go I picked up it. a gun and died. I'm sorry, dude. All right, so meaning obviously narrow, so narrower or, or narrowly or barely, and referring usually to a narrow escape from disaster. The phrase comes from the book of Job, in which Job is subject to the horrible trials by Satan to be uh, relieved finally by God. The pr uh, precise phrase Job uses is slightly different. My bone cleaveth. This is from. Uh, Psalms, what, 1920? I don't know what. Uh, it's a book of Job. My uh, bone cleaveth to my skin and to my flesh, and I am escaped with the skin of my teeth. Exactly what the skin of one's teeth might be is not entirely clear, uh, and there are, have been many theories put forward. The most plausible explanation is that it refers to the thin porcelain exterior of the tooth rather than the gums. In the other words, Job escaped with his teeth, but just barely. Job is comparing the narrow margin of his escape with the shallow skin, quote-unquote, or porcelain of a tooth. The equivalent, in fact, of a hair's breadth. Okay. So, wow. So, this is uh, enlightening. So besides that, we, ha we have an option in front of us at this point. Th th <laughs> thank you, thank you, Reverend v Virtual Short. <laughs> um, now that we know, uh, I'm just filling in for uh, yeah. Father what the <laughs> Yeah, we, we have Reverend Bi Virtual Slub in the house. Y'all didn't realize this isn't this isn't a let's play. This is a straight up idiotic you know stream of words. Um, here we go. We have an option. Stream of here. idioms. It's an idiomic. We have we, we have an option here. There is uh, there is a possibility of enabling some measure of cheat codes, very, though very limited. Um, like I can basically go to a different a different level and play it, um, so we can do that, or we can uh, attempt to go through this horrendous trash game again, or mm -hmm. we could um, just say screw that and put a good game in and actually you know give something for all the people who stuck around something enjoyable. No, to watch. suffer, <laughs> suffer. No man, we, this is giving us plenty of stuff to talk about. Oh my god. Yeah, I agree. You gotta keep Seriously. Playing. Seriously, some of these reviews are awesome. Like GamePro, their review, they, they said it was asinine. Uh, <laughs> PC, <laughs> PC Gamer, their, their, their two-word review was best avoided. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, wh while we go over the reviews, I'm going to go ahead and um, continue the game. <laughs> Enter the password. And Here we go. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, look, we, we're gonna bypass. We did ship. All right, let's see you what all we've done. We can't escape it though. We've game done, Revolution said avoid all contact ship. with this game. <laughs> let's see. Let, wow. You know what? Since, since we have since we have the Reverend over there, let's go to Judas Tower. Okay. Um. No. 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 <laughs> how do you How do you change it? No. What avoid this game. Man? Sage <laughs> advice. Too bad you didn't take it. Now you're stuck I, with it. We've got the demon level. Hold up. B, 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 B. Oops. What the hell am I doing? Am I doing R A or B? X, X, B, A. I can't remember what I'm doing right now. 
Oh yeah, we're going. We're going to the the um the demon level. That's where we're going. Is that any is that any cooler or as cool as the demon level from Doom? I, I don't know, oh, but we, we dude, we got a hot chick on a stripper pole tied up. I'm just saying. So right after that sermon, we're going to the demon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is one of Job's trials. He had to play the crow, City of Angels. And, and so if he was still a devout man after that, then that's how God knew that he was he was pure. The Lord knows man, I'm devout. The, I'm still the, the sitting here playing. Really got dark. Yeah, Sam is, is a modern-day Job, everybody. <laughs> no, I, I'm modern-day Samuel with long hair. I, I, you know, I, oh, I am going through the trials, man. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Ten people watching us, and probably half of them are us, man. Come on, people. We got to get some boys and girls up in here to enjoy the excitement. <laughs> Let's see. We're recording this, right? Oh, yeah. We're recording. I mean, dude, this is all live. We've been we've been live for 42 minutes now. Oh, oh Sam, by the way, did you, did you, were you able to hit the, the record and the stream button? No, nah, I totally time? forgot again. It doesn't matter, though, whenever, I, whenever I'm doing <laughs> Hey, what, what, look, look, look. The fact of the matter is is that all of this is being saved to um, Facebook right now, so. Yeah, that's good. I mean, this isn't like Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, uh, you YouTube. <laughs> Shut you up. I, I'm sorry, man. This game is just <laughs> like, like, it's destroying Facebook. my mind and my soul. No, for a second there, I was like, how are you doing that? You got to tell me how to do that. <laughs> I thought he was learning. He's no, he knows more than us now. I know, right? I'm no, I figured it out. I, I, I'm doing some stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to how to dual stream. I'm gonna to talk to a couple of guys. Um, dude, this yeah, dude is like. Out, let us know. What what is that? Um, paint uh, pinhead. This dude is like pinhead's cousin. It's like the gimp. <laughs> he is, man. How, how? Hold up! I gotta figure out how to throw people. Like, it, I think this is the only way that people actually get gameplay footage of later levels in this game is using cheat codes. What the heck is going on? Why is he fighting a shirtless Tekken character? I don't know, man. Like the we bypassed all of that. We we, we ain't worried about the storyline. <laughs> it exploded. Oh Does it God. follow the storyline the movie at all? Probably. Probably like scene for scene, I assume. Is that Frankenstein in dude, a gimp suit? Dude, the gimp level is getting worse and worse, like and I'm chopping through the screen like my entire legs were under under the map. Okay. He's, oh my god. We're just gonna roundhouse kick, y'all. Roundhouse kick of doom. Come with it. Come at it. His legs are even like reverse. Like what was it? Um, his knees are reversed. That that's a, a fitting touch for a monster, I suppose. And I'm dead. Well, that's what happens whenever you skip around in this game. It just gets evidently harder and harder and harder. Why does why does the main character look like Gene Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. I think at that point, when you have that makeup style, like in thirty two bit, there's only so much you can do to differentiate. But even the hair, like... even the hair has like that. It's like Gene Simmons. <laughs> I think oh this God. is supposed to be a, a kiss, uh, kiss, um, fighting game. He's even kiss got like man. a kiss, uh, yeah, the, kiss, kiss save Saturn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, was the name of, what was the name of the shitty movie they had? It was like, was it Phantom? Was it say, Phantom of the Opera? I was don't it? know. Kiss something of the Opera. I can't remember. They had to change the license at the last minute because Kiss didn't. They, they they didn't pass their quality standards, so wow. so oh, they got Kiss the crow. The Phantom of the Park. That's the name of it. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, are you guys talking about Psycho Circus? No, we're talking about. No, yeah. that one did pass the quality uh, test. Oh, okay. The quality test I is get... that you give Gene a certain amount of money and he lets you publish it. Right, Y'all, yeah. we're going. We're going to Judah. <laughs> oh, it play. did it again! It did it again. I have to play Outrun now. I think it did it again. Uh, uh, huh? Outrun two. Well, boys and girls, I, I'm going to tell you something. Um, we've been doing this for 45 minutes now, and uh, for the second time, my capture card has said trash to this game and is uh, mm -hmm. no longer supporting it. So. Um, I think with that, I have given the community what they want. They have made me suffer. And uh, hopefully next week, y'all can actually be kind enough to um, allow me to play a good game. Doesn't have to be a real popular game, but um, a good game nonetheless. All right. Virtual highlight.
I think wrestling yeah! in your back- <laughs> wrestling in your backyard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all people are horrible. Look, 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 here. If you're just watching this, if you're watching it after the fact, if you made it this far, congratulations. You get a secret prize. Um, Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, whatever it is you want to do. And um, if you want to be a part of the voting, which is in part destroying the humanity that is me by playing this stuff sometimes, um, join the Saturn Junkyard's uh, Facebook group's closed group. Saturn Junkyard, you can find it. Answer the questions. We'll throw you in Thursday, Friday. I throw up a poll, and y'all get to decide. Oh, Lord, the game came back. It's amazing. Um, oh, you what? have to play it now. I, I, yeah. I, God dang. <laughs> Oh, my God. He almost got out of here by the skin of his teeth. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is actually the most enjoyable stream I've had next to the Panzer Dragoon we had last week, though. Uh, that's another thing. Um, immediately after this, if you're watching currently at a 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, I believe it is, um, the Shiro Boys, otherwise known as Sega Saturn Shiro Podcast, boys and girls now, they have both. Um, they are actually going to be, um, one of their buddies, Chaz, is going to be streaming uh, the Let's Play of full 100% playthrough of Panzer Dragon Saga for y'all. Yeah, man, he's extreme. Yeah, I'm not going for that 100. <laughs> percent He's doing it all the way. Dude, we, we were sitting about, we were talking about rolling joints all in my last pa- Panzer Dragoon uh, stream. So, <clears throat> like, smoke them if you got them, man. We're about to go to war. I guess I'm gonna try this one, this one level all over again. Just try to. That's the spirit. I mean, I mean, my well, I suppose like, I, I, I got 12 minutes. You're gonna have to do that that end script again. <laughs> I know, right? It's like for anybody who's still watching. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold Why up. Why are they tied up for? Dude, I don't know. That nothing in this game makes sense, man. Nothing. See, he even has Gene Simmons' belly. <laughs> nothing in this game makes sense. Oh, I need to. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a tank top. What's going on with that? It's like some real kinky stuff, man. I think this was supposed to be a kiss game. <laughs> it might have been. Maybe they changed it at the last minute. I just want my stick of truth, man. Give me the stick of truth. Is All that right. a sexual joke? What is that? I, That's a South Park game. Really, dude? Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Dave, come on, man. Dave's not in with the South Park. Come games. on, man. Oh, no, I, I, I haven't played it, no. But uh, I am aware of it. I just... To be fair, I haven't played it either. So. I haven't either, but I mean... Plus, still. that game's like four or five years old now, so I can yeah, understand. It wasn't, if... it wasn't like on the top of my awareness. Yeah. Or... I mean, it, I I have it. I should be playing it. It's I heard it's an awesome game or it's like, as a action RPG or whatever, or regular yeah. RPG. I can't tell. if I don't know if it's turn-based or... Uh, people this, people told me it's like Disgaea, except, without, except it's an American Disgaea. Oh. And, and that makes sense because this guy is just crazy and wacky out of this world in general. Hey right. guys, so Kay is they, here. Kay's been here, man. Yeah. The man who, he has? Yeah, he's, in, he's, he's, in, he's, in, he's been quiet and I've had, I've been in, in chat. Course. He hasn't been on the Discord, but he's in Discord now. Yeah, no, yeah I, and, maybe, and maybe that's a smart move on his part. Uh, hey, hey, Kay, are you, are you going to talk or are you just going to like, you know, lurk in the background and tell me to press the button when I'm trying to put codes in? Probably both. <laughs> you scared him away. Nah, man. Kay's good people, man. Oh yeah, he's he's a murderer of crows. I know, he right? Got his name. He got his name from this game. Or from, <laughs> he should, from crow. He, he should be like sending me some of his spiritual, his spirit animal like energy or something, so I can actually get through this game, man. What if one of Kay's side hobbies is to like round up every copy of the crow and murder it? And that mm-hmm. is actually he would he be just why he is named the way. Yeah, he would be doing a do massive with. service to the community if he was doing that. Also, making it a lot more collectible. Yeah, like this. It, it, what somebody somebody check it out. What what is the going rate on eBay for this game? Uh, I got yeah. I'm he'll, curious. He'll make it go from one. He'll make it from go from two dollars to three dollars. Let me <laughs> guess, like fifteen bucks. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Gaming well, channels yeah, are destroying it. Complete? That's not right. Oh, do what? Oh, never mind. It's twenty dollars complete. Somebody was just an idiot on Facebook. Okay, um, I was close. Uh, yeah. Are you looking at the sold listings? 
Yeah, well, what the heck? One of them went for... Oh, that's factory sealed 81. There's another 80, one that, 81 dollars, though. Factory sealed. There's another one factory sealed for 40, though. Oh, this is a different level, I think. I've never been in it like this. Nope, there, no. It's just a different camera angle. All right, Japanese yeah. version significantly cheaper. Well, of course. It's like no, it's bucks. not. No, it's not. I take it back. It's about 20 bucks either way. Wow. That is, Plus that is ridiculous. Stop I wouldn't pay a dollar me. for it. There's but a lot I mean, of cool that, figures for it, though. That, that's the truth, though. If you're still listening, uh, guess what? This, we're not playing this on legitimate uh, disc. I, I, I do not own this. I will not own this. And um, this thing is on a Memorex CD that did not turn into a coaster. Dirty well, well. pirate. Yeah, you do. Maybe it should have. Nah, man. Really dirty since you're using Memorex. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, this thing did not deserve to go on a Tayo Yudin. I know. You, you, put it, you put it on what it deserved. That's right. That's right. You know, when I did like the, the playthrough of um, Father Christmas, I accidentally put one, of, put that on a Tyro Yudin. Wow! And like, because wow. Kara's like, check out the game, you'd really like it. I put it on it. It's like I struggled through the menus, like, okay, so when do I get to play as Santa? And then I found out that you don't. It's just a turn-based click. No, it's a. Uh, it's, it's like Carmen the, um, San Diego. Yeah, it's probably it an is. educational game. Yeah, I was. Pat, I'm really surprised that you don't emulate first, like. Wasting a disc is like, you know, old school. Why don't uh, you just pop it in an emulator real quick and see if it's trash or not? I will say this though, this is mm. only the, let's see, um, Deep Fear US 60 Hertz was the first game that of course had to have been burned to play. Um, and Panzer Dragoon Disc 2, which we booted up uh, Thursday night, that was a burned game because I only owned two of the discs for it. Um, so this is only the third game the third burn game we've actually played on this channel. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't know why I didn't emulate. I, don't, I guess I didn't think it through. Yeah. I was gonna do the stream, so I, well, no, actually, I did it because I wanted to do it blindly while I did the stream. That's why. It's funny. Yeah. I picked up. Um, there was a office going out of business right down the block from me the other day, and I picked up this old like Dell Latitude. Uh, it's like a, a Core Two Duo, you know. So it's a, it, at least a 10-year-old laptop, but I just completely nuked it and put SSF on there, and it runs SSF full screen, what? scan lines, like perfectly fine. You know, I was playing uh, Judgment Force the other day. It works That's without a shit. hitch. So it's like it's like a little, you know, um, take the VGA from that out into the monitor at like 640 by 480. There's something you know, behind you got, you, got you got those professional monitors. Yes. I've got one with your name on it, man. You just gotta come get it. <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm going to L.A. I mean, if you meet me halfway, dude, I got a gun. Actually, I, I I've got a gun. You have oh, got okay. a gun. That that sounded weird out of context. Okay, well, I, mean, I, I, I I I actually have real guns if that's what we're talking about. But I have a gun really, in the game. That's why I was confused. I, I, I was like, you were about to shoot K. the TV. Like, I got a gun. It's like, oh, okay. No, really no, dead. no. We're not going. That it's not that dark yet. It's not that dark yet. I'm stuck on this yeah. table though. Sam, you really didn't appreciate us making you play the crow today. Hey man, you know it's been y'all have made it an enjoyable, an enjoyable event. But um, I, I I will say this um, K, if you're still listening, no more of this. Oh no, you don't. Have you looked oh, no, at your YouTube uh, chat like uh, comments? People are enjoying the fact that you're suffering. Oh no no no! I I know they are. I know they are. <laughs> That's what you got to call the stream: the suffering. <laughs> the suffering is good. The suffering. We're talking about Job here. So. Yeah, Did I just throw my gun? Yeah, I, I'm calling him the suffering Sega gentleman today. <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all are y'all are some um some real standout guys. I do it all for the views, man. Is it for the show? It's all about the audience, man. I gotta make y'all I gotta what was it like uh I can't even remember now. Blame went my brain is completely turned to sludge. Thank y'all. On a serious note though, it's actually been really entertaining from a perspective. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, no one plays bad games, right? Like, so it, this is very much, you know, the heckling and reading of the reviews and the. the, the <laughs> hey, you should play the crow every week. 
except you, you know, ABGN, <laughs> he he's got a lot of credit for you know playing bad games, but sometimes he's just bad at games, right? Because this is true. <laughs> there's <laughs> Nintendo difficult games that he picks up and mm -hmm. will will complain about. Um, no one will pick this game up on purpose, uh, you know. I'm, you will. I commend you <laughs> for actually following through on this. Hey man, hey man, I, I will say it once, I've said it plenty of times before, whatever the community decides is what I play. Y'all have complete control over the Sunday Let's Plays. And I will, as a Southern Sega gentleman, I will always stand behind my word. Mm -hmm. You should actually start doing two streams. And one of them is called the Dunk Tank. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's hard enough to get my wife to to be okay with me streaming twice a week every other week. No, I get that. I, I was just a joke. Believe me, I, I would absolutely love to stream more often. That, but the the problem did they just respawn out of thin air? But um, well, you could just go time. back and forth. You could do. One week, people have to recommend a, a, a genuinely good game, and then the next stream, you call it the dunk tank, and you see who can like make you play the worst game. Yeah, I'm actually figuring out the special moves if you want to call them that. Um, I mean, he's really at the bottom of the barrel here. This he is, really is he really is. He can only it, work his it, way it, up. It can only get better. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Is no. this really like Death Crimson? I'm gonna have him play Death. Crimson. No no, because Death Crimson is like it's a mess. But it's entertaining still. Well, this so is this. just <laughs> no. The, if you okay, if he were alone playing this and didn't have anybody around him to make fun of him while he played it, oh, it oh I would. I wouldn't. It would wouldn't suck. Play Death Crimson. Oh, yeah. I would <laughs> ah, Death Crimson's so messed up that it's entertaining. Oh, I'm about to die again. Why? Just stop the thing kicking is, me. The thing is, some games are so bad they're good. But Death this Crimson not... just goes a little further. It's so bad that it's really bad. <laughs> like, this is just button mashing at its best. I'm just, like, bitch slapping this dude at this point. Now, don't you don't, don't don't you just pop that disc in and fall in love with the intro, though? Come on. <laughs> no, Come I, on. I, you know what? <laughs> I, I gagged a little bit in the back of my throat whenever I booted this game up. No, not this one. Oh. Death Crimson. <laughs> I do like how there's the nice little crow effect on the ground as soon as you know you've defeated all the enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, vote for uh, the Southern Sega, Sega Gentleman to play Death Crimson. Okay? How about how about no? <laughs> how would he do that, though? Um, would he have to he use can, the control? He can use the controller, yeah. And I think it might even be uh, compatible with mouse if he has a mouse. I, I want to vote for Double Switch. Oh, my God. Gale Racer. <laughs> Yeah, Kay, I was Kay, you don't, you don't, you don't get to pick another game until until you send me what I asked for. I'm telling you, you use a 3D controller with Gale Racer. It's not terrible. Yeah, yeah it's I, I oh. Well, for Sam, it would be because he's not an arcade racing game fan, so it's almost double whammy. I, 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 I really, I really, honestly don't like arcade racers. But the problem with the 3D controller is my 3D controller doesn't work anymore. So. Ooh. Oh, okay. Then it would just be fucking awful for you. <laughs> yeah. Um. If if anybody wants to loan the channel a 3D controller, um, I would be glad to utilize it playing whatever game you want. In fact, if you send me a 3D controller and you decide what game I want to play, I will most certainly play it. It will supersede everything. Is, is your uh, cable busted or is it the actual controller? The analog stick. Oh. Yeah, they wear out. Pretty common. No, it it, it work. The, the controller works. The problem is, is that it doesn't like it doesn't register. Um, like, oh. how can I put it? I can I can play with it, but it's mm -hmm. it, it's really the, the the actual stick itself is actually very very loose. And whenever that's I'm, what happens with them, yeah. So and, Sam, yeah, check out the Sagaholic on YouTube. He Dude, has a teardown. He I, has a teardown and repair video. I have. I'm, I'm subscribed to him. Anybody who, who's watching the stream who ain't subscribed to Sega Holic, go give that dude some love. He he had taught me a crap ton about working on these consoles. Well, but, did uh, you do the? That's my did, buddy. Yeah. I, 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 K, K, I actually thought that you were the Sega Holic whenever I first met you. To be honest with you, until I heard oh, your no, voice. <laughs> until I heard your voice, I thought you were the Sega Holic. Cause I'm like Hawaiian dude, Sega mm -hmm. Saturn, absolutely loves it. This has got to be the Sega Holic, and you're like, nah, man. And I'm like, fuck. But um, <laughs> nah, he's a he's a really awesome guy. I actually got a large stack of Japanese Saturn magazines from him from way back in the day. Oh hell yeah, man. Um, 
No, but uh, the, I did what he what he suggested. And it still it, it made it a little still tighter. Work. It made it a little tighter. It um, but it's still it's like if you're moving the stick, um, it only goes like. Well, that's the best way to put it. It's like a lag up into it, and it doesn't want to register all the time. Like you'll try, you'll try to move the stick to the left, and it'll move to the left a little bit, and then it'll it'll start moving all over the place, and it'll stop moving. So it sounds I can, like the hall. It's like the hall sensors on your. It sounds like the magnetic. Um, there's like little magnets in there, mm -hmm. and they get weak. Because I mean, I can still use the D pad. I can still use all the face buttons. I just I can't use the actual analog stick, at least not enjoyably. So. Buy a how about this? Buy a busted one from Japan, like uh, that's like literally busted, um, and then just rip it up for parts and see if that works. You might you might be able to get it for like five bucks or something. I've actually gotta, thought about that. You got to figure though, the stick is probably the part of that Plastic controller that goes wrong most yeah, often. Not all yeah. the time. Sometimes the cord. Sometimes the edge connector. It is the cord. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of the times. I, if I bought testing, a lot, like a, a large lot of Japanese Saturn controllers, um, including some 3D controllers. And the biggest problem is that they're not thoroughly tested. A oh lot of these, um, both the 3D and the normal controllers. Um, will have issues with the uh, the cable because they got wrapped around the controller so tightly. Mm -hmm. So and they you, don't have time to test them, or they don't want to. Right. They just plug it in. If it doesn't work, then they're like, okay, it's junk. They mark it as junk, which is you know like pennies on the dollar. And you know, I I bought like this lot of thirty to fifty of these controllers, and some of them are legitimately busted, and some of them work perfectly fine, and some just need some minor tweaking. So mm -hmm. it, for just one controller, it's worth the, the risk. Mm -hmm. All right, gentlemen, awesome. um, if y'all want to continue this conversation, uh, we can. But uh, because of the fact that the Saturn Junkyard and the Sega Saturn Shiro crew try to work together as best we can, um, Chaz is about to start up his Panzer Dragoon playthrough here in a second, if he hasn't already. And um, I don't want to pull anybody from that who has been wanting to watch it. So, with all that being said and done, at the bottom of the screen, you can find out where you can find us. If you're watching this, you're more than likely watching the YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, you know, do all that fun stuff. Um, if you haven't hit the bell icon, hit that too. That way you'll know exactly when we go live and exactly when we drop videos. On behalf of myself, on behalf of uh, the Sega Saturn Shiro podcast, on behalf of Saturn Memories and everybody else who's tagged along for this nice, enjoying playthrough through hell, um, this is the Southern <laughs> Sega Gentleman, and this is us, signing off. Later, guys. I'd love to continue yeah. talking about this conversation later. You got to <laughs> get up in the featured Patreon, dude, that we haven't got yet. So, peace out. I got to tell you, though, Sam, like I, I voted for this game two weeks in a row, and no one followed through on it, and so I gave up. This yeah, way, so so I'm here's dying. the tip. Yeah, okay. We're not doing it. We're still talking. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have quit three times and it just keeps going. Roll with it, baby. I, okay, I think you move the needle. Like you got it enough in the consciousness of the community. And so when right when Sam posted the most recent one, I added the crow full caps, lots of exclamation <laughs> marks, and I think that just helped put it over the edge. But you loosen that that screw top on the bottle there. But I'm just pointing out that I let this one go, so you can't blame it on me. And now I want you to play Battle Monsters or you know, some other. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'll I'll take I'll take credit for this one, and so yeah, K K gets whatever uh, credit for the next. Go for it. Battle oh, sport, fun, you guys. Or I'll take the blame. I mean, I'll take the blame for. This See, one. we 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 just need everybody needs to pile in on Sunday for these things because these things are extremely enjoyable. I mean, and this 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 is something you know. I've tried to explain this a couple of times in the stream. If anybody remembers back to the '80s to the '90s, whenever you were sitting down on the couch with all your buddies playing the game, you know, you're, you're crap talking each other, saying do this, do that, talking, you know, whatever. That's what these let's plays are. It's not. It's not a playthrough. It's it's us coming together as a community so that we can all, you know, enjoy this thing together. And I really enjoy it. I'm, I'll be honest with y'all. Regardless of how crap this game was, I truly do enjoy doing these let's plays with y'all every Sunday. Well, Sam, thanks for putting them together. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of fun to join you on these. And yeah, you do good. You do a great job here. Yeah, you. I had a lot of fun on this one. Yeah, it's better we get that whole kiss thing, but you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> I, th I do think we need to play a good game next week so I can build up my spirits. I, I, my mana is getting really, really low, yo. 
Or maybe I'm you just you, need man. to watch. Maybe you just need to watch somebody else play a bad game, and then. Oh, there's an idea. You know, you know the the one the, the one game that we uh, let's played that we did not let's play um, on the official YouTube channel was actually uh, afternoon. Everyone, Elliot Hewitt, man, you are late to the party. We got more people shopping up, man. We might need to just keep going for a moment. <laughs> God, I hate to kill out of one y'all. See if you started. Uh, yeah, go, to, go yeah, check out up on Chess. I haven't got for him yet, so... Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure he started yet. If he hasn't started up, we okay. might just keep going. Um, For those of y'all just joining us now, we were actually about to kill it, but if everybody wants to keep piling in, we might keep going. Um, I think what we need to do, though, is we need to play... Uh, What was that game called? Um, We need to play Bulk Slash again, because we didn't actually play oh, it on yeah. the YouTube channel. And that no, is... We just started. No, yeah, that was a, that was a cool-looking game. I need to... It's a fun game. It's uh, It's a... It's a great game. It's yeah. a very expensive game too. If you didn't, right. by chance, buy it early it on, could, it could be more though. Like, yeah. it's not. It's gonna get worse. Hey yeah. guys, I'm gonna drop out. Uh, Chaz did just start his stream about a minute ago. Okay. 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 I got Take you. I got you. Guys. All right, brother. Thanks for right, inviting. Cool. Don't stop inviting me either, because I know some some Sundays I just can't make it. But I always love doing this. Not a problem, brother. I appreciate y'all coming out. If everybody's going to start dipping, I think we may actually have to go ahead and call it quits. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, yeah. going to drop out here, too. Sorry. Good, good spot to end. Yeah, no, thanks for joining us, Chris. Yep. Thanks for having me. Uh, hope you'll have me again. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, most everybody, certainly. Go ahead and, if you don't haven't already, go ahead and visit uh, Saturn Memories because he has Absolutely. a lot of awesome shit there. Yeah, Um. also, uh, let's see. I think that's about all the plugs we got, and uh, maybe if yeah. everybody is done, we can actually sign off. <laughs> oh yeah, and watch our Winter Olympics video if you can. Simon and I made it. Yes, we also we also have a, a brand new episode of Titan Cast coming out this Wednesday, and we have a video review dropping on Friday. So anybody who likes giant robots and likes giant robots destroying things, if you ain't subscribed yet, you might want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, and if you guys are looking for somewhere to go now, head on over to uh, Chaz's Panzer stream. Is that on YouTube or Facebook? I think he's doing it on Facebook still. I don't. I think uh, we're talking about moving it, moving over to YouTube. But there are advantages to both, you know. Like everybody's yeah. already over on Facebook, so right. yeah, it's a little easier to uh, to connect it with the community. You guys just have to. You guys just have to like pound it into people's heads, right? That you're over right. on YouTube and get them to move over. Oh yeah, it. but I mean, the, the the fact of the matter is, is that you know, with our transition to YouTube, it's uh, it's better for us if we try to keep everything in one place. And a, a big thing about Facebook is that you don't. You might it might say you have fourteen hundred people watching, but that fourteen hundred people might just be somebody scrolling past it in their news feed. So you don't really know what what kind right. of access you're yeah. getting. Right. Hey, K hey, K. Or, or do you guys have a link for it? That because uh, it looks like Elliot's wondering if uh, there's a link to. Well, if you just go Facebook Facebook dot com slash play Sega Saturn, that's our uh, that's our page, and it'll be live on there. Okay. Well, let's so, see if I can find it. I can post it up if I can yeah. get to it. I am looking for it right this second, boys and girls. Just Here we go. Chaz is live now. Oh, you got it. Oh well. Yeah, I'll just I'll just post because it's right at the top of the page, so I'll just post uh, the Shiro link in there. There you go, there you go. So, um, if you want to go check out Panzer Dragoon Saga 100% live play through Chaz, you can check that link out. Also, if you want to see a more laid back uh, live oh, stream, it's not available. Fuck. Well, if you want to see mind. a more laid up live stream of the Panzer Dragoon Saga, we're starting episode two, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. We play it every other week, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Thursday night. And uh, thanks, brothers. It was good having you, brother. It was good having you, brother. So um, with all that being said and done, I do believe this is finally it. We are going to sign off. Hope y'all have right, a great so, day. See you later, guys. All right, great see having you. you. Great ha having us. Ten info. All right, take care, everybody. Have a good uh, rest of the Sunday. Thanks, you too.